So welcome back everybody to Malta Archery. Today is some Osage Orange Madness from Flagella Day. Because I get many times the request, how is this, this one, this one doing in the test? I never had this one in my hands. Look, look at this. So what you get first is a sleeve. Then you get the bow and the string just fell out. One second. So <coughs> one could think of a better storage solution for the string. But hmm? what do we have from Flagilla Day? This is the Osage Orange Pyramid Self Bow. It's a flat bow, it's a primitive bow, and uh, they say it's kind of the Holmegard type of bow. So it has very wide limbs here, very flat, awesome. It's 42 pounds. As I said, Osage Orange has reinforced tips, a leather wrapped handle, which is quite narrow for the size of these limbs. You can have this bow from 26 to 70 pounds. So the length is 67 to 33 inches. Mine has from knock to knock 65, so it's a 67 inch bow in there. Way of measuring it, for me it's from knock to knock alongside the belly 65 inches. Has a max draw length of 32 inches and a brace height of 7 inches. And that's all fine and we have already a hole in it. That's so cool. And now you wonder how much will a bow like this be? You can guess for the next three seconds. One, two, three, now it's too late. It's 179 euros from Flagilla Day, which is awesome. So, 65 inches long, max draw of 32 is a F value of, I write it in the description, stringing of these long bows, flat bows, is quite easy. So this is how it looks like. Very interesting shape, a very interesting bow. Brace at seven inches might be a little too much, but we see when we shoot it. So the string sits nicely in the groove. Tiller looks good. I think this is the weaker limb, should be the upper one then, but they made the wrapping like this, so this is the lower one and there's the hole in it. Ooh. 42 inches at 28. Nice. Doesn't feel like 42. Look at the shape, it is. The bow completely need to go further back. So 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Oh, yeah. And no stacking, so... Hmm. <laughs> Over there you feel then a slight bend in the handle, but this is a one-piece bow. What can you expect? Is to be expected a little, a little vibration is in it. The oscillating string, really you feel it then in the handle for a few seconds, but fine by me. Let's check it out. A new item, let me show you its features. <laughs> it's simply a tiller stock. We cut it here to make it a little longer because it was only max 30 inches draw. So now we have here 28, 30, 32, 34 and 36. Just in case we have a Manchu bow here. This is lips zo. And now we simply draw this bow to 28. Thirty-six, thirty-six point five. So we have a thirty-six point five and not forty-two. And now let's see how the bow looks like. So this is the bow at twenty-eight inches. I think yeah, the lower one is the weaker one. Thirty inches. Madonna. 
doesn't look straight anymore. 30 inches. And it looks a little as if the limbs start to warp here a bit. So I need to be careful with this bow. So, uh, uh, this is how the bow looks at 30 inches. The bow at 32 inches and then you really reach the limit already. But it's still tiller wise not too bad. It only looks a little that the limbs twist a little in this direction. So that's why I would not draw this bow 32 inches, but it's capable of. Now we shoot this beauty. 29 inches, 320 grain with 40 pounds, let's say. Whoop. But it goes there where you point. Seven inches, the brace height, so you need to adjust your <laughs> your arm a bit. You feel it a bit, but shoots nice. So. It's fun. Don't hold it too tight. Two fingers works too. Mm -hmm. You feel it a little bit, the arrows are a little lightweight. So now I use Miguel's arrows. They are 600 grains, so they are now way too heavy. What am I doing? And they are 32 inches. Let's see what they do. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Feels, feels better. It's not the fastest bow, but out of the box. Nice. And now the big question is, is it a sin to shoot a long bow or a flat bow? Some release. <laughs> Let's find out. Whatever your God is, you believe in, may he strike me to death because the sin always relates to someone who is judging something. May he strike me to death. I shoot now. Some release with this bow. I think I do it again, just to make sure. Not that he was busy. Mm -hmm. Fun. And a bit cutter. Huh? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. With a bit cutter, then the spine doesn't matter. My first arrow went a bit off. Yo. They go the way you want them to. A little katra that you don't have the Archer's Paradox problem. The only thing you have when you shoot over this leather here, you will tear it a bit off, but I don't want to put the arrow higher because it's already going very wide here. So I prefer to have the arrow here. Not bad, not bad. Let me get the arrows back. Good, then let's see what did we do on distance. The lightweight arrows again, 320 grain, 10 meters. Uh, three finger things, booms. Ooh, and a little to the left. Almost. A little wobbly, oh, but that was me. The heavy arrows, ten. Ostro. Twenty. Yup. Powerful. 30. Oh, it was a little wobbly. Let me shoot one thumb release back there. So, could you... Yeah, you could hold the arrows here on the bow and shoot. It's no problem. Could you do it this way too? Yeah, look. Works. It's only a rattling noise and stuff, but... One could do that if he wants to. So, and I'm still here. So, I guess it's not a sin to shoot a bow like this. Thumb release. Speed? Speed. Wobbliness. <laughs> stiff. Stiff. So, this bow is stiff, but of course, what can you expect? These limbs look there almost as wide as my hand. And 
it's a pretty bow. It's a really pretty bow. But now, speed test with 320 grain. I will write the grain per pound then there where you can see it. So. Too low. 145. 124. 131. So I said it's not the monster in speed. 138. 148. Why do you annoy me today like this? 140. This is what you get with the lightweight arrows, and now we take way too heavy. Did I shoot Zambulis or Mediterranean? Oh, strange things. It doesn't matter. The long arrows, 32 inches. 99. Oh, 115. Yeah, I get there. 111. With Katra, 111. Katra, 107. 92. So this is what you get. Not a speed monster, obviously. And what I don't like, what I told you already, do you see that? How these limbs start warping on this side I don't like that but it's still it's still straight but you can see it when you look down there you see that how they so the bow is flat but look at the tip I hold the bow flat and the tip is like this and the other one too but this is what you get when you shoot or when you have one piece, I would both they can twist a little, but there is some really serious twisting going on, so that's why. But it still shoots, it still draws. Now, my draw experience is nice, it's typical for a flat bow. Here it starts, you feel it 28, 29, 30, 31, it goes up like this, and then at 32. You feel it then a bit, then it goes a little steeper, but draw curve is nice, consistent, really good. The string. Yeah. Twist so much over there that the string is in line with the handle here. So it should make three finger shooting easier. It's like with the Yumi, you know, they have this, the bow has a slight I don't want to say no twist, but the string is really on the right, flash with the right side of the bow. And here we have it, the string is flash with the left side of the bow. So thumb release is completely, see that the string is almost here. I don't know if you see that, but for three fingers, should be just fine. Straight. Straight. Yeah, straight. The heavy arrows. Yep. Yeah. Where else? Thumb release. You see, then you shoot really. You see that there? You shoot really way off center. So I would suggest thumb release like this, because I can. Yep, less wobbly. Uh, only this handle thing is in the way, so handle grips are not. Let's shoot the long one. Thumb release cutra. See? And these arrows go straight. Like with the Yumi. Nice. Mm -hmm. Getting there. Yep, that's it. The Pyramid flat bow from Flagilla de Pretty Bow. Nice mate.
can't see anything they built, and I suppose Tiller looks fine. I mean, you need to feel this. This is really bumpy and then it goes up and down and thin and thick. So it it's really takes some skills to get here a proper tiller in it. But they managed. It shoots nice, of course. It's no speed monster, but you can't expect this with this lot of mass and material here. But it does its job, throws the arrows away. When the arrows are a little too heavy, you see then at longer distance you have a little... You need to compensate already at 30 meters. Didn't expect that. Vibration, hand shock is fine. You, you can deal with it. Simply don't hold the bow too tight. Hold it a bit loose or hold it in your whatever, you know. Then it's fine. And for the price, 179 euros. You, it's best is you check the website and then you see it. So, uh, thank you very much, Flagula Day, for sending this bow to me that I was able to test this one. It's a fun bow, it's nice, and it looks really, really good. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.